Hello friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 4 in Microsoft Fabric playlist. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create a workspace in Microsoft Fabric. So I mean, we are going to discuss about of course what is workspace means and going to get a better idea and then we are going to create a sample workspace as well. Okay, and we will continue the classes with the workspace and different fabric items. So before watching this video, I would strongly encourage to watch my previous videos because in the last video, I have explained about some terminologies, right? So what is experience means? What is item means? What is workspace means? What is tenant ID means, right? So there are few terminologies which we regularly use in fabric. I explained them. So try to watch that video so that right you can try to cope up with what exactly is getting discussed here. Okay, so let's give, jump into this video. So topic is about workspaces. So what is workspace means as I said in the last uh, video as well. So workspace is imagine like one folder. Okay, and what I said for your entire organization in my last class or in my last video, I said that for your entire organization, a fabric will be there, a fabric ID will be there with a tenant ID, okay? And inside this fabric, uh, your entire organization may have so many different projects, so that different, different project people will come there and create their own workspaces. So their own folders, imagine like that. So all these are like a, their own workspaces, workspace one, workspace two, workspace three. So they create their own workspaces and from there, they create the fabric item inside of it. For example, workspace one people want a lake house and they want a power BI reports. They create them and workspace two people will want a data warehouse. They will create there and workspace three people may want some notebooks. They may create there, right? So all these things like notebooks, lake houses, reports, synapse data warehousing, all these things are like items, fabric items. And we have different experiences in the fabric, right? So we have something called data engineering experience, data warehouse experience, data science experience. We discussed it in our last video. So, so to maintain and to keep all these fabric items, whatever we created, we need a place, right, for every project. And that place is called as a workspace. So workspace is a place to collaborate with colleagues to create the collection of items such as lake houses, warehouses, reports, etc. Okay, so workspace is a place where for a given project, people, all the team members can come and collaborate and create their own fabric items there according to their project requirement. So let's try to create a sample workspace now in the fabric. So let me go to the uh, browser here. So this is the browser and here, uh, to open the fabric, uh, you know that, right? App.fabric.com URL. So let's open that URL. This will log in me into the fabric. And if you remember, I created a uh, free trial account, right? With our, with one of the ID in the second video, I think we discussed. So the same ID is getting listed here, if you can see that. So with the same ID, I connected to the fabric URL. And now, right now in this particular fabric tenant, there is nothing there is no workspace created at all. So let's try to create our own first workspace now. So create to create that, you can click here, you see this Microsoft Fabric icon from the home page. You can click that and try to select any one of the experience here. So maybe I want to select this data engineering experience because whenever you want to create any item, so you have to choose an experience inside the experience only, you have to create the item. So I am going to click this data engineering experience. The moment I try to create, it will see if you closely observe right now, we are under the data engineering experience and you see there is something called workspaces menu. So by default, you will have one workspace, which is called my workspace. This workspace will be there. And there is a menu item called workspaces. Using that menu item only, you can create your own workspaces now. So now let me hit this workspaces menu. And now if you clearly observe it here, there is something called new workspace button. So let's try to click this to create a new workspace. The moment I click that, now I have to fill a couple of fields here. So mandatory field is name 
I have to give name to my workspace and I can give a description for my workspace and also I can associate a domain with my workspace. So when I say domain, usually uh, like we discuss more about this domain in our future classes. But for now, if any workspace is associated with any domain, which you can do it, okay, if you have domains, then that will help us to uh, discover the relate, relevant content uh, very quickly. So that may be not sensing at this point of time. So please ignore the domain part. We will discuss in upcoming classes. Then for your workspace, we can also give a image as well. So not only that, if I go inside the advanced menu for our workspace, we can give a contact list as well. So this contact list actually, uh, so if I add some people here as a contact list for the workspace, that means I am associating that users with my workspace. Now, if any changes happens in my workspace, then all the contact people who are there, they will receive the email alerts. So right now, the fabric tenant admin uh, which we created in the second video so the same person will be by default added as a contact list because with that id only i am creating this workspace so that id will be by default added as a one of the contact list okay so now let's try to give this name and everything so let's say my sample workspace okay so that's the name i wanted to give okay so i gave my sample workspace and i'm creating creating this workspace for a demo purpose okay so that's what i gave the description and domain i'm not selecting anything right now there are no domains as well that's fine let's try to add one image to our workspace so let me click this upload button here and uh, i have a fabric image in my local system so let me take this fabric icon and let me add that as a workspace image and now if you observe see that fabric image becomes the icon for your workspace okay uh, that's right and there is something called license mode so basically different licenses will be there uh, for fabric and uh, based on the license type you will get access to the different features okay we will discuss that more in our uh, future videos right now right if as you know that it's a trial it's a trial version right so trial is automatically selected let it be let me click this apply button to create this workspace here so you see that my sample workspace is created successfully here. So you can see that and right now I am already in my sample workspace. So that's what it is showing it here. And you can see the description also here, whatever I entered there. Okay. So now, for example, uh, if you have so many workspaces in your uh, fabric resource, I assume that way. So across the organization, maybe hundreds of the workspaces are created because of hundreds of the projects. But now maybe you want to pin only few workspaces where you regularly work. Okay, so you may have access to the, all the workspaces, but maybe you regularly visit a few workspaces and you want to pin them. Then how you can do that? You go to this workspaces menu and here, whenever you hover it, right? You see this pin symbol when you, when you click this, so you can read it also. It says that pin to top. So when you pin your workspace, then it will be appear at the top. So I have right now only one workspace that is fine. Let me pin this. So the moment I pin it, I think I pinned it right. So let me click this workspaces. Uh, uh, let me refresh this. I should see that pinned uh, workspace under the pinned list. Okay. So let's wait for the refresh to complete here. And let me click this here. Okay. Why workspace? And you, yeah, it is already showing. You see here, it is pinned workspace. And uh, apart from that workspace, if you have more, uh, all unpinned workspaces will come here. Okay. So right now I have only one. So you are not able to sense the difference, but let's assume I have so many, then all the workspaces will come here and your pinned workspace will come at the top here like this. Okay. So pinning the workspace helps you to get your workspace at the top. You can unpin also by clicking this icon once again, that will unpin and it will comes under the all category as you are seeing right now. Okay. So that's it in this video. I hope you got an idea what workspace mean at a high level. Workspace is nothing but like a folder where the fabric items can be kept together and all your team members will come and collaboratively work for any solution. It can be data engineering solution. It can be data science solution or a power BI solution. Anything it can be. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel 
and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.